Welcome back to TechPress. I'm going to show you how to create sub collections inside of Shopify. So let's get started. In order to continue, the very first thing I wanted to do is to get started with creating a collection. So guys, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description just in case you haven't claimed your store inside of Shopify. So once we are here into Shopify, once you created your account, it's going to be selling you, sending you something like here. So depending on how elements, how much things you have done so far into your Shopify is going to be telling you the things to do next. For example, here we can improve our conversion rate. We can automate stuff. We can answer questions in Shopify inbox. So there's a lot of stuff you can do here. But today we're going to focus now into making self collections. First of all, let's create our very first collection. If you focus into the lip pod, you should see that we have the home orders and much more. Let's go for products. Inside products, what I wanted to do is to go for collections. Inside collections, you should see that we have a lot of collections created. If you don't have anything here, you can always go for create collections. And now I can type my title, the description and the manual. After you created your collection, you should see something like this. Now, I just added my products manually, so you should see that it actually looks great. Now, in order to add in a specific sub-collection, I needed to edit this directly into my navigation bar. So check out how it actually looks our navigation so far. We have the gear, the regional, and everything here. So let's say for example that I wanted to sell PC stuff, but I wanted to tell them inside the PC elements that I'm selling mouse, I'm selling keywords, I'm selling uh, something about gaming chairs and all that. So we're gonna do this directly into my navigation bar. Where is the navigation bar? Let's go for the online store. Inside the online store, let's focus into navigation. Now inside navigation, you can see that we have a specific main menu. If you wanted to create or add a new menu, let's go for add menu. And here you can type a sidebar menu. And here's the menu type and all that. Let's say for example, it's gonna be sidebar menu and now save the menu. Now I can add menu items. For example, my home section, my home page, and go for add. Inside home, let's say for example that I want to add something else, for example, PC. And here I go for collections. And here inside collections, I have collections of the PC gear. And now let's get into add. Now this is the tricky part. What you wanted to do is to add something inside the PZ, but you wanted to make sure that you have the specific collection in order to add this into PZ. So for example, let's say that here, inside this collection, I have the PZ gear, but I wanted to add in a specific collections inside the PZ gear. I'm gonna create a new collection, and this one should be only mouse. And now let's go for save. Inside the products, let's go for browse, and I choose all my products that only have mouses in it. After I successfully added those, let's hit now into back. And I'm gonna do exactly the same thing, but with something new. For example, headsets. Collection manual, and hit now into save. Now it's gonna be appearing in this product section. I go into browse, and I do exactly the same thing. I only select the products that they only have headsets. For example, this one. As you can see, there are a few earphones. And lastly, this one. Once we are okay with all of those, let's go into add. And now I'm gonna go back, and there we go. Lastly, let's go back into your online store, navigation, and check how the menu that we have just created, which is the sidebar menu. Inside here, I'm gonna type add menu item, and here into name, let's go for mouse. Search or the paste and link, let's select the specific collection that we created, which in this case, it would be the mouse section. Let's hit into add and do exactly the same thing, but now inside here is gonna be head sets. And lastly, once again, collections and choose our headset collection and hit now into add. Now to add this directly inside this PG collections, Let's just select our element and move a little bit to the right and just drop it and do exactly the same thing with the headset. And there we go. Now the mouse and the headsets are part of the PZ collections. After that, I'm gonna hit into the save menu. I'm gonna go back. And then what I want to do is to make sure that this menu is actually working. Let's go into online store and go into customize. Inside customizations, I'm gonna select my menu of the header I'm going to change this main menu for the sidebar that we created, just to make sure it is actually working. 
which in this case is the second one. I'm gonna hit now into select, and lastly, I'm gonna hit now into save. Now I'm gonna hit into the three dots and go for view. Now, as you can see here, is our home section and the PC. If I clicked here, I should see that I have the mouse and headset self menu. I clicked into the mouse and I am only seeing these elements that we created once we started an actual website. And I do exactly the same thing with headsets. I only see headsets into my website. And there you have it. Uh, most easy and most organized way to get started with our Shopify store. Once again, guys, if you have any questions, you can leave it down below in the comment section. I'm going to leave you the link down below in the description to get started with Shopify totally free. Claims your only store with an actual huge deal. If you find this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more Shopify insight, and hit the notification bell to stay into the loop. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys, and happy organizing with your Shopify sub-collections into Shopify. Thank you so much and see you soon.